in recounting my uh, career, and I've titled it From the Mississippi to the Mekong, and still a third time while serving on the Mekong in Vietnam, when I came under enemy fire, occurred near the town of Tan Chau. Uh, this was uh, later in uh, 1973, after all of the US military had withdrawn from the country. Uh, there were still US government activities, including uh, the shipping of military supplies up the Mekong River, which is an international uh, waterway, into Cambodia. And one of the jobs as one of the few remaining civilians in the country was to monitor this and to see uh, that it made it. And so these large barges filled with ammunition would be coming up the Mekong. And uh, one other American officer and I were in a small uh, little you know, motorboat, but a, a small uh, river craft uh, would hold just two or three people. And we were out there on the Mekong and going along with it and uh, watching. And we had a radio and reporting uh, back about that it was all was uh, proceeding as it should. And they were now quite close to the Cambodian border and would soon be uh, safely across. There was a, a freighter ship that had been grounded years ago, sitting across on the other side of the river from us. So as the ammunition barges with the tugboat were pulling by and the other ship was across from us and we're there, suddenly from inside that ship, there's a huge amount of fire. The North Vietnamese army had come and set itself up in there and was ambushing the uh, ammunition barge and trying to stop it, sink it, whatever could be done. So now it's firing directly at the barges, all of these rounds, uh, uh, machine guns, rifles, um, bazookas firing uh, rockets at it, and they're all coming towards us as well. And so suddenly, we're in the direct line of fire, turn the boat, we're heading to the shore, and then dive off onto the sand. And I'm laying there, the water's coming up, and I could hear the bullets cracking over my head. Uh, they were so close. And then finally, when there was a slight break, we scrambled up over the hill to the other side. We lost the radio contact, and there was for uh, an hour or two, uh, great uh, concern at the U.S. Consulate General, and the word starts going around that Quinn is missing. And does anyone know, can anyone find out, has he been caught up in this? Well, the ammunition barge made it through. Uh, the shooting stopped. We were finally able to get back to the radio, report what had happened, what we had seen, and that we were okay. Um, it was an incredibly close uh, encounter. So many rounds just cracking uh, right over my head as uh, laying there on the, uh, trying to burrow my way even deeper into the sand as the uh, water washed up uh, over us, filled with oil. So that when I stood up, all the front of my clothes were all covered uh, in oil from the oil slick that uh, was there from that freighter that had broken apart. So another one of my adventures on the Mekong River.